who beat Syracuse in their final home game last Saturday night at Truist Field, have won four of their last seven. Kick here to the near side, and this is Stenson at the 15-20. Jalen Stenson across the 30, out near the 33-yard line. Leonard on a quick toss to the field side. Coleman will turn it up. And a big another first down run out to the 48-yard line. And in motion, that's Jalen Calhoun for Leonard and the Blue Devils. Riley Leonard, another long throw, and that catch is made. And that'll be a Blue Devil first down at the Wake Forest 41-yard line. Snap to Leonard. He'll shoot it to the near side. That's Hagens right in front of the first down stick. The great catch and a first down for Duke on the opening drive against Gavin Holt. And Leonard against four-man rush in trouble, and he'll be sacked. That is Jasheen Davis. There he comes, Jasheen Davis. You can see him right here, one-on-one -on -one with the left tackle, Graham Barton. Just a little inside move. Dives at the legs of Riley Leonard. It's just a really good job of pushing up the field. Ticketed for some All-ACC honors next week. Heck of a play by Jasheen Davis. So here is third and long, and Leonard trying to find something. It's Calhoun inside the 30 and towards the 25 before he is knocked out of bounds by Gavin Holm. Only one attempt over 40, and he missed that one. Yep, and this is 42 and a half for Polino. And the kick is away, and Todd Polino has put Duke in front three to nothing. Hartman from the pocket and the throw more in the catch. He'll be measured for the first down to the 36 before Jalen Stinson shoved him back. That's Taylor Moore and threw the formation to the boundary. First and 10, Hartman deep in the pocket, waiting and waiting and waiting and can't pull the trigger and Dwayne Carter Post the sack for Duke. Donovan Green to the wide side. Bunch look here to the boundary. Hartman from the pocket again, looking for Whitehart, the tight end. Terrific catch at the Duke 31-yard line by Blake Whitehart. He had Shaka Hayward draped all over him. And just watch this pass. I mean, Hartman over Shaka Hayward, who's like 6'3", 6'4". Joyner's able to get there. That is a fantastic throw from Hartman. 33-yard throw. Now Hartman going to call his own number. Follows a block inside the 15. Thrown down at the 14, maybe the 13, by Brandon Johnson. The Polino field goal, the only marker of the game. And look at Ellison take off for the far side. First down, touchdown. Handoff. Ellison doing a nice job of extending towards the end zone. And just beating Cam Dillon. Dillon tries to push him and throw him off balance. That ball is across. There's the knee down. Touchdown. And the kick from Dennis. And those, those two defenses have really good players. Mm. So that, uh, that obviously helps a lot. End over end kick again. This is Stenson off the foot of Dennis. For, again, from inside the five. And Jalen Stenson makes a couple of moves, and guess what? He's across the 35, and Duke again with a nice return from Jalen Stenson of 34 yards. He is so explosive and just has a great feel when he gets one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, that's putting the dude in the matrix right there. That's giving him that what's happening. And he has got the sophomore Jaquez Moore getting his first carry of the ball game toward midfield, knocked out of bounds in Deacon territory by Kalen Carson. Watch the flow of the offensive line. It looks like it's going to be zoned to the right, but then the running back is on that side, so he's got to come back. You get over-pursuit by the defensive front. Really nice play design by Kevin Johns. Sort of differing keys going on there. Final minute of period one, and the Deacons trying to get Duke stopped in their half of the field, but won't get it done here because Jacques Moore Picks up a first down to the 32-yard line. 11 yards on the run. Single receiver to the boundary is Hagens. Three here to the field, and Leonard. Hagens on the crossing route. Got it at the 20. Nice block. Calhoun. Hagens a touchdown. Watch 85, Roddy. The speed, the explosiveness. 
And he puts Duke up by three. You said it. Lightning in a bottle looked like everybody else was standing in quicksand. Leonard, seven for seven, 80 yards, and the touchdown on the drive. Duke has gone back in front. Tight end, three receivers. Christian Turner in the backfield with Hartman, who's going to shoot it to A.T. Perry. That'll be a first down on a 16-yard throw to the Wake 41. There's Hartman handing again, and a first down run for Turner. To the Blue Devil 46. Shaka Hayward was the first guy in a white helmet to meet him. Hartman on first and 10. Gonna fake it, now shoot it. Middle of the field, that's Williams the grab. 33 yard line. Here is first and 10 again, and nothing there for Turner, the junior from Buford who started his career at Michigan. Duke by three, and now Wake trying to pick up third and long, and Hartman with time, and threw it into harm's way briefly because Young was there on a cover of Perry, the intended receiver. He told me it's changed his perspective to see two of the strongest people he knows in complete vulnerability, but he said they have taught me how to fight. A really special day for the Franklin family. Oh, you're not kidding. Thank you. The Blue Devils are two of three on third down, leading by three. Leonard trying to pick this up and does to Calhoun. Big throw on the far side, and across midfield goes Jalen Calhoun before Brendan Harris, who had the pick six last week for Wake, shoves him out of bounds. Jalen Calhoun, you see him there in the slot on the right side. One-on-one in the open field absolutely leaves Harris in the dust. Jalen Calhoun is one of the most explosive playmakers in the ACC out of that slot position. That's Waters orbiting around the formation. Leonard going to load and throw and wide open Calhoun. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Duke. Once again, it's protection, letting the routes develop down the field. And this throw is right on the mark. It'll wheel up the boundary from Jalen Calhoun, a little tackling optional inside the 10-yard line. 11 for 11 is Leonard, 163, two scores. The point after is good. You can't afford to punt. You can't afford to miss your turn, so to speak. And Perry will hold on to that one, going out of bounds against Young for the Deacon first down. Those mistakes offensively are just magnified like the intentional grounding we saw in the last series. Yep, here is Hartman. Thought about the run, now going to shoot it. Taylor Morin, what a terrific catch at the Duke 30-yard line. Watch this throw and catch by Taylor Morin. I mean, this is placed right on the helmet almost of Chandler Rivers. That's where you just pat the other guy on the butt, say good job, and go play the next play. There's nothing more you can do. Deacons with three receivers again. Hartman fakes the throw. Now wide open Morin, first down inside the 15. Middle of the field throw, and Brandon Johnson the stop for Duke. Condensed formation, though, for Wake Forest. A.T. Perry at the top of the formation. Big third down play. Hartman looks, middle of the field, caught wide open. Donovan Green, the Wake Forest touchdown. My goodness. Touchdown to Donovan Green, gets Wake back in the end zone. They trail three are so contrasting. That drive so quick for Wake Forest. Matthew Dennis tries to draw the Deeks to within a field goal and does. Sort of keep this thing under control as it gets a little chippy here on rivalry weekend. Yep, under six to go. Leonard will miss and there's a flag. Trying to go to Hagens and Carson ran over the top of him and brought a flag. Here is Leonard now in the gun. Looks and... Well, quite frankly, Jacquez Moore never turned his head because Ryan Smenda was running right with him. And Wake Forest is able to get off the field. Porter Wilson drives it toward Taylor Morin. Inside the 15, first guy missed. Morin trying to find a crease, ran into his own guy and will be brought down at the 20-yard line. The beard was absolutely perfect for that beanie. That was great. <laughs> Wake takes over from its 20 Play fake to Cooley and a throw to Keyshawn Williams right around the 40-yard line and a first down. He faked himself <laughs> out. <laughs> Here's Hartman. He's going to keep it. Whoa, big lick from Hayward. I think as anybody's Duke team as anybody being a leader. Yep. Here's Hartman. Deep shot. A.T. Perry the first down. 
inside the 20. Well, you're going to get a corner blitz, which puts A.T. Perry one-on-one -on -one with the safety, Darius Joyner, just takes a bad, bad angle, angle and gets, gets over, the, over top. the top. Here comes third down. Taylor in seven for Wake Forest. Hartman loops for Perry and incomplete. Matthew Dennis is 11 of 13 on the year's longest is 46. This is 32 to tie, and it is good. It's going to keep the clock running. Now you get into a little bit of your tempo so you can get something going. Leonard, a quick throw to the far side, and Calhoun from the slot, the first down out to the 38. 71 seconds to go. That's Hagen's in motion to the slot at the bottom of the screen. Leonard, long throw. Here's Jordan Moore, midfield first down, tried to get out of bounds. Jordan Waters in the backfield with Leonard out of the wake timeout. Leonard, a long throw. That's Hagen's inside the 30 against Chase Jones. 19 yards there, first and 10. Leonard trying to get one going to the locker room. Oh, what a catch! Hagen's reached down right around the waist and grabbed him. It's an absolute laser from Riley Leonard. And how about that grab? Third and seven in a 17 all game. Leonard batted in the air and incomplete. Looked like Chase Jones, who's had a pretty productive first half for Wake Forest, got a hand in the pass lane. So here is Polino now. This is right at 32 yards on the near hash. And he knocks it through with 14 seconds left. That's Morin in motion. Hartman against a pressure. Look, Sam tries to elude the rush, now steps back. Here he is to his left, throws, and tried to dial Whitehart up. But the blitz package offered up by Rob Smith. And here is the second Wake Forest punt of the night. And it will be a fair catch asked for by Calhoun on Matthew Dennis's second collegiate punt. <laughs> Just fizzle out here on their opening possession, but Leonard will try and save it here. Pressure coming. He'll throw near side. It was looked for in the neighborhood of Moore. Here is Porter Wilson to punt it away. Just three minutes in, and a fair catch will be called for by Taylor Morin. So that'll get us to a break. I do think it's interesting what Coach Elko pointed out. He said, we're not only two coaches in the same conference now, but we're essentially two coaches at very similar programs. These are smaller, private, academic institutions. Deacons trail three, third down here. Hartman from the pocket. Buying time, back foot, downfield, and in and out of the hands of Brandon Johnson. Of course, two ball games yesterday, won a conference game. What a double overtime contest at Keenan Stadium in Chapel Hill with NC State Carolina. Here's second and nine for Leonard, firing inside, and that's Calhoun the catch, and a first down to the 35-yard line. Here is uh, Leonard now on second down and seven. And Jacquez Moore breaking free and will push it across the 45 and a first down out near the 46. Now Burns has kind of been a, a utility guy in some ways for this offensive line. Here's a breakaway run. Jacquez Moore through the Wake Forest secondary to the Deacon 30-yard line before Gavin Holmes makes the stop. It absolutely is, but it's great blocking by this offensive line. Just look at that hole. I mean, there is an entire lane there where Jacquez Moore can get through. And then the tackling from Wake Forest today has left a lot to be desired. A shot in the hole. Three of seven tonight on third down. They came in at 41% on the year 15 of their last 34. Leonard throwing for Jordan Moore, and it's caught. Touchdown. A dime of a throw, Jordan Moore. I mean, it, it, this is great coverage. You can't defend a perfect pass. Master class of a throw by Riley Leonard. So Moore's got another touchdown catch. It's his fifth of the year. And Coach Elko said he rises to the moment. If you put him against some of the top-tier quarterbacks in this league, he matches them just like tonight. There's a throw, and the catch is, uh, this is Jaeger Bull. It's a good thing they're comfortable playing quick, Roddy, because that's going to be the mode of operation here. Yeah, I mean, they've got plenty of time left. We're still in the third quarter, but they can't miss your turn too much more. You're going to have to come up with some stops. Yep, Justice Ellison will pick up the first down on the ground. First and 10, Hartman 
guns it for Perry, and A.T. Perry will make the catch, shy of the Blue Devil 32-yard line. His ability to manipulate his body, just great body control. Here is Hartman again, long throw. This is Moore in the catch. And Taylor fights inside the 20 toward the 17. Hartman throws, caught, touchdown. Taylor Morin, his seventh TD catch of the year. Can't come up with it, and Sam Hartman comes up with the throw. Just a seam by Taylor Morin. No one carries it. 17-yard strike. Matthew Dennis adds the point. Finney, the tight end in motion today. Total yardage, by the way, in this game is even until the throw to Hagens. And Samir Hagens picks up the first half out to the 47-yard line. Leonard straight back, pressure coming to his left, throws and overshoots Hagens incomplete. Kobe Turner's been a great addition and after transferring in, it's been a great addition for this team. Here's a high hanging punt from Wilson. Taylor Morin signals for the fair catch. Philip Rivers, yeah. Sam Hartman in the top 10. Yeah, okay, thank you. Taj, Taj Boyd, Boyd, thank yeah, you. Up there in the top 10, that's right, yeah. That's where we are. Here is Hartman breaking away and across the 25 near a first down at the 26. And I'm going to go Ja'Cory Harris. Oh, my goodness. Who told her the answer? I <laughs> first my, down my game is Cooley <laughs> on third and short. Now, the original spot from the far side indicates he has it. Tournament of Champions was captured. <laughs> It was. By Taylor Davis. Here's Sam Hartman on the carry, 45, diving to the 46-yard line. Here's Hartman from the pocket, clutches and throws and caught. And that's Blake Whitehart, the tight end, for the first down to the Blue Devil, 42. So here's Hartman quickly on first and 10 in Duke territory. Going to launch. It's Donovan Green who makes the catch. Backing out of bounds inside the 10 at the 9. Talk about back shoulder throws all the time. How about back hip throws? Donovan Green has one hand on, J uh, on Joshua Pickett. The other just uses it to corral with the body. It's a great one-handed catch, a great throw. Here's Hartman in the gun now with Cooley. It is second and goal in a three-point game. And Hartman will zip it to the end zone, and he's tied the record on a touchdown pass to A.T. Perry. Pass against Dino Babers in Syracuse. 106 TD passes later, Roddy. He ties the ACC. Dennis to push the lead to four. And he does. Moore. Having a hard time getting started. Jacquez Moore. Leonard hands to Coleman, finds a seam, and I think he got to the 44 in a first down. Second down and 20 for the Blue Devils. Leonard shoots it down the field. Calhoun the catch and a first down to the Wake Forest 44. Absolutely on the number, literally on the number five as it hits Jalen Calhoun right in the stomach ahead of the defenders getting there. This is a big-time delivery by Riley Leonard. He knows he's got a guy coming free. Knows he's got a There's Calhoun in motion. Third down. Seven to go. Leonard dances away. Now we'll run with it. Lower the shoulder and drive to the 34. And I think that's enough to pick it up. And it is. Duke's got 107 yards of rushing. They came in averaging 191 a game. Leonard from the pocket again. Wake tried to close it, and he snuck through the door. 20, 15, there's a flag down. Leonard will score. We'll see if it stands. Riley Leonard just went 34 yards, but I think it's coming back. Calhoun in motion. He's had a huge night, and so has Leonard. Here's Riley to his left, waiting on things. Downfield throw, and it's broken up. What a play by Gavin Holmes on a ball intended for Jordan Moore. Duke's 58%, 34th nationally. They are third in the ACC. Leonard throws deep ball. Hagen's there, and it is 
intercepted. Martin has come away with his first pick. Heck of a play, Roddy. The ball's underthrown, but you have to make a play on it. And Martin does just that. Gives Wake the ball up four. Five minutes left. If he hits this record while down a pinky, it won't surprise me. They're going to hand the ball and bouncing to the outside is Turner. And he falls across the 30 to the 32. Here's Wake Forest looking at third down. Hartman now in the pocket in trouble and will be sacked. Hayward and Carter both back there for the Blue Devils. Touchdown or nothing for the Blue Devils here in the final 257. Leonard, long throw. Moore had a shot at it, got broken up. Carson over there to defend, and a flag has been thrown. Looks left, loops it for Calhoun. Caught, 25, and stepped out of bounds near the 20. It's a, it's a great throw. I mean, you, you get a clear out and a corner behind it, and Riley Leonard gets it over the linebacker Smenda and on the sideline. And now all of a sudden, Duke on the edge of the red zone. Wake bringing pressure. Leonard cuts it loose for Hagens. In the corner, did he catch it? He did. Samir Hagens. Wake Forest decides to bring pressure. Riley Leonard stares down the barrel and throws it to the end zone. Samir Hagens with a great catch. Polino to make it a three-point game. And there's the kick. With Justice Ellison, a tight end and three receivers. First down play. Sam to Whitehart, the tight end, and a first down to the 36. Wow. Under two minutes to go on the Dillon tackle. Snap to Hartman again. Sam now looks, resets, and just off the hands of Perry near midfield. Second in the full 10 here for the Deacons. Hartman in trouble. Now going to throw, looking for Whitehart and just off the fingertips. Johnson was in coverage. Hartman was going down. Third in the full 10. Here is Hartman. Pressure coming again. He'll move to his right. Throw and incomplete. He had Keyshawn Williams and Donovan Green both in front of the Duke bench. It looks like right now from the show that you're going to get man-to-man -man coverage with one safety deep, but Duke has dropped out of this a number of times. Here is Hartman. Pressure coming again to his left. Turns, going to throw. Perry, the intended receiver, and he can't hang on, and it's intercepted. Darius Joyner. Joyner. The question is, was it pass interference? Chandler Young, Chandler River, excuse me, gets beat. Turns around at the last minute. I, I like the no call there. I'm going to be honest. Chandler Rivers doesn't turn around to play the ball, but A.T. Perry goes up. His athleticism actually probably hurts the sell of that pass interference as he's able to go over the top of Rivers. Dave Clawson, all three timeouts, as Roddy said. And there is Smenda tackling Coleman after a gain of about two. Here is Leonard. Play fake to Coleman. Riley wants to throw. It's caught in stride. Hagens across midfield. Into Wake territory goes Samir Hagens. Riley Leonard, little flash fake with Kobe Turner in his face. Leonard nine yards from 400 passing tonight. Here's Coleman and he will Skip through the second time out for Wake Forest. Comes with 39 seconds left. See, it has not lived up to that, but I think this game is sort of indicative of what's happening in the league. A young crop of quarterbacks emerging. Riley Leonard, a big part of that. And how about the work, and here's the kneel for Riley Leonard. How about the work of Mike Elko, who tonight ties Fred Goldsmith, who went eight and four and five and three in 1994. It's time for us to get a win against a quality program, a program that's one of the markers in this league. And they've done that here today. The performance by Riley Leonard, you can see the respect between the old bull and the young calf. But Riley <laughs> Leonard was fantastic today.